we've had a lot of good films this year in 2014, but I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of films that a lot of people haven't seen. So today, I'm going to talk about a few hidden gems that you might have not seen that you might be interested in that, wow, well, that, that probably didn't get a lot of interest or probably were under your radar. So when this film first came out, I was like, an, I mean, I was a bit under depression. I thought like, really? A film that basically takes place the entire time on a train and it's basically a, a film with post apocalyptic and it's been and it's in the middle of winter. I thought, eh, seems okay, I guess. And then it sounds like something the Asylum uh, Studio would do. But then, but I mean, then I started to like look things up about it and then I'm um, trying to find the showing of it. But this was like back in, say, of, like July of this year. And it wasn't playing about any place near me, so once I was able to get to see the film, I realized I should have seen this film over, say, Transformers. I mean, not saying it didn't have, I mean, it didn't, Transformers, uh, Age of, I mean, Age of Extinction is not the best film, and yes, I've got to say, it is bad, but I just accepted it was bad, but, so yeah, um, one of the things I can say about Snowpiercer is that it is great. Overall, the production values are just... If you watch the film, you'll realize the, say, the set, it looks very realistic. The, like, say, the, um, the, the makeup, the, uh, prosthetics, the production overall looks very good. It looks like, say, like, the film is overall mostly, say, no, not very much CGI, is mostly, say, uh, practical effects. And I've got to respect that in an age where, say, we use too much CGI. And we get films like, say, The Pyramid, which has terrible CGI. But, yeah, I've got to say, uh, The Pyramid's a great film, the acting's good, the, um, set pieces, the, ac the ac action, one of the best scenes is, you'll probably see this in the trailer, but, is a scene where Chris Evans' character is just fighting a bunch of other guys with an axe, and it is the blo bloodiest thing that you probably will see and uh, in a film probably this say this year in my opinion though but unless you watch say the um, uh, cabin fever patient zero which is meh but yeah yeah I've got to say that this film Snowpiercer is great. It's very good. The acting's great. Um, it's a very, very memorable film. It's like when I was watching, I thought like, hmm, this would be the kind of film I'd want to watch. Like say before, um, like for like say, December, before December, like to get me ready for the holidays and like get ready for like the cold weather. Because, yeah, this is what most of the setting is. It's mostly set in a post apocalyptic film. Er, not film. It's set in a post apocalyptic setting where it's entirely winter for, say, a thousand years. And you're, and all the characters on the train basically survive with the fittest. From, like, going from, like, the back of the train to the front of the train. Although, I gotta say, one of the problems with the film is that even the ending seemed to be a bit... Although it did seem very... 
it seemed a little bit meh, I suppose. Like, could have, like, 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 you watch and you feel like, did they really have to end it there? Like, you could have kept on going. But, yeah, Snowpiercer, in my opinion, even though it wasn't, it was, wasn't not released very well in a lot of theaters here in the United States. I've got to say it's a very good film, very good post-optic film if you're, if you're uh, wanting to get your fix in that genre. So yeah. Okay, to get the better idea for this film, you might want to get look up a, say, trailer or say a clip from the film. Um, yeah, um, don't worry, I'll wait. Probably only takes, say, two minutes. You can pause the video and come right back. Okay, oh, so you, oh, so you're back now, okay? Okay, then! So, I've got to say, in all honest opinions, that this movie is kick some serious ass. This movie is awesome, and I know people, I know a lot of people probably don't like to say a film where they have to like read the subtitles because they'd rather just watch the movie instead of having to read things, but... I mean, you can watch it in the English, uh, with just English dub, if you want to, but, I mean, if I want to watch the movie, I'm going to watch the movie. I mean, I'd rather watch it the way it was originally done, which was, say, in, um, subtitled, but, then again, I mean, it's like, not like it's going to matter. It's still the same experience, just one with, like, say, subtitles. And to be truthful... Like, when you watch it in subtitles, since this film is an Indonesian act action film, like, you, like, if, they, when they speak in their natural, like, in, their Indonesian, when, when the actors say their lines in Indonesian, you get, like, say, more of an idea of, like, what they're trying to, like, of their emotions, or say, how they're trying to project, project what they're trying to say, I mean, you can get what they're trying to say too by the dub, but you get more of an idea of how they're trying to say and all the, all this kind of thing, because you may not understand what they're what they're saying, but you still will understand from like the subtitles. But you'll get the idea just from like say the facial expressions. Um. But yeah, I mean you can still get all the regular things you'd get in, say, a, um, English, uh, film. Just, in, like, a different language. But, I've got to say, this is the film I wish that studio, this is the type of film I wish studios in, in America, like, United, St United States studios, like, say, Sony, uh, Warner Brothers, or, say, any studio, I wish this was a, if like any serious like one to make an action film. I wish this is the type of like say, um, the type of, uh, the set like the type of choreography, the type of action, especially if it's gonna be rated R. This is the kind of action that an R-rated film should have if you're wanting it to be hardcore. Cause this movie is awesome. This, um, I'm gonna say this film is probably, say, up there around, say, with, uh, with, uh, around, say, J John Wick, but it's, like, not, I mean, like, the action-wise, they're both good, but in the matter of, say, choreography and, uh, say, fast, for instance, like, say, high, with how fast the, uh, the just action is overall. Uh, the raid two is just overall action. I mean, if someone was asking ask me what I thought the film that basically is the most action film of 2014, I've got to say this is it. 
there is a lot of um there's a lot of great moments in this film. But it is pure action nonstop. And I kinda feel like like a lot of people say, oh no, they shouldn't Ameri they shouldn't Americanize it or they should Americanize it because of oh we don't like to listen to look or read the dubs or anything like that. Well if you we, if we want an action packed film that will probably just like leave you wowed beyond belief. Like if you like if you're a fan of say a of Jackie Chan or say uh Bruce Lee action films, then say this is the type of film that might interest you in that sense. Because the action, the uh choreography, it's overall great. It's basically a predecessor to a Bruce Lee or a Jackie Chan action action film. And if anyone's going to try and say, oh, they should uh, Americanize it, make it uh, a, make another film that's Americanized, well, that's okay, but I doubt th if they ma re make a film, make this film for Americans, for in and basically for everyone, I guess, I, mean, I feel it wouldn't be as good. I mean, they could get top-notch actors, but the basically the whole high-speed action of the of the film wouldn't be as good as the original. Because, well, I mean, I feel like if they did do it okay, then been good for them. But I don't know. If, I don't really know. I really don't know how they could do this film again and basically for an English audience where it's basically to say the first story and then part two. Unless you're gonna say, oh, we'll watch Dread. If you want to watch, if you want to watch an American version of, say, The Raid, then watch uh, Dread. But yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, Raid 2, very great action film, highly recommendable. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend trying to catch it even on, say, DVD or Blu-ray. Or just watch it, period. It's, it's that awesome. And the number one obscure gem of 2014 is The Maze Runner. And probably a lot of people are, are probably thinking, like, The Maze Runner, really? And, yeah, the movie made a lot of money, but in my opinion, I, didn't, I felt like the film didn't um, get all the attention it actually deserved. I mean, there's been a lot of, like, young... Uh, adult books translated into film lately or if mo with most recently say Hunger Games series and Divergence and I've, I have have I have seen the Divergent uh, the first Divergent film and I've also seen most uh, most of the uh Hunger Games films I haven't seen all of them though but I've got to say that uh, the Maze Runner, it was actually rather good. It was rather different than what I was expecting. But like usually when you see like a young adult uh, bo uh, book translating to film, you usually s expect to see, oh, right, another uh, film that series is going to be having a love triangle. And I've got to say, I mean, I wasn't, I was okay with that not being there. And... It was rather smart. It didn't do what the. It wasn't like say, oh, this is gonna be say similar to like a group of teenagers and then they have to go into a new wave of society, like all the other uh, different uh, post-apocalyptic films of 
teen uh, book drama stuff. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not dishing, dissing, say, Divergent series, because it was good. Um, the first Divergent film was good. I am excited about the Insurgent. But, I was surprised about the Maze Runner, and that it did have some, it was very, it did have suspense, it had action, it had some, uh, you had very, uh, different characters, um, new, new ideas, and for some people who haven't seen it, here's my, here's my, basically my way of explaining it. A uh, bunch of group of, a group of kids, basically say, take, um, Oh, um, the, uh, a bunch of group of kids and put them in a, uh, sort of thing, the, uh, and they, uh, where, basically put them in a film and then they're trapped on an island. It's survival of the fittest, survival of the fittest, uh, meets, um, the, uh, Lord of the Flies, that's it, a uh, group of kids uh, meets Lord of the Flies with a maze and say mon meeting mon monsters and what and just um, basically uh, trying to survive, basically survive the fittest, but also trying to think of a community standpoint as a way, in a way, because they only allow certain people in the maze, and everyone else does this community sort of thing where they all pitch in, like, say, they all try to do gardening, they try to do, um, help build things, they help build the shelters. Yeah, it's sort of like, say, if you had, like, well, um, they basically that, like, it's sort of like, amazing, it has amazing, a maze, plus pop the world and Lord of Flies and yeah there is some death scenes in it and it's it, it, it can be a bit rather jarring at times I feel like whoa this film has a bit of tension to it and like there's no you know like oh this main character has to deal with drama because drama and a, a secret that she has that she has to keep uh, keep or she ends up getting ki getting getting killed. But yeah, it's a rather different uh uh thing. But I haven't I haven't I'm just judging this based on the film, not as the book series. So I haven't read the other books, so I don't I can't really say if it is like the other books are, as well as the films are gonna be similar to. Uh, the Hunger Games, or say even Divergence. So yeah, I thought uh, the Maze Runner was a very good film. The actors were well, well actually were very well. The action was good. Wasn't reliant too much on. I mean, I think it was CGI, but it wasn't like say the CGI wasn't an eyesore. It was very. Um, it was very good, it wasn't too much of like, oh, this is gonna be very 3D-esque, and then, you know, the shitty-looking CGI, or say, monsters, or giant robots, which make jokes or smoke cigars, but yeah, um, yeah, I thought uh, Mason Runner was very good. Um, most of the audience members for the film, I think, is mostly say, either high school or college kids. But I feel like the film, this film, should like get same audience that say, The Hunger Games gets, or Divergent, Divergent. But then again, those are two different series. But yeah, uh, these are some of the films I feel like are hidden gems, and yeah, if you've seen them, that's great. If you haven't, 
Okay, uh, try and check them out. 